help overwhelm business owners um, reduce their the statement of I never have time and I help them optimize all their priorities to make sure they do have time. Uh, my question to Ari is that uh, recently I've had some success being interviewed on podcasts and, and that's helped me promote my business and I've got a really pretty good one coming up which is pretty exciting but uh, my question for you is this, it's made me think that I want to do some outbound reach to some people on podcasts and I've got a bit of a, a good list of people that I want to approach. Thanks to you. I'm very comfortable with what I want to say, but what I want to do is actually craft that in a way that's quite precise. So all of these outreaches are going to be via email, and that's because of time zone differences. So what would you suggest would be the best way to reach out to these people in a nice flow so that I do it in a trust-based fashion um, to, to get them to have me as a guest? Um, and also two parts to that question is, should I at some point in that email introduce the fact that I've done a podcast for this big name, if I get it. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. So I'd probably start with uh, the subject line. Are you looking for a different uh, podcast guest? Question mark. Right. Um, okay. And then I'd start with, you know, hi, John. Um, we have uh, my name is Sam. We haven't met yet. Uh, I've been listening to your podcast. I'm a big fan of it. Um, I know, I, I believe your audience is business owners who I assume is time pressed uh, to get things done. And I've been listening recently, haven't noticed anyone on your podcast yet who's addressed this specifically, this issue specifically, uh, and I'm an expert in this area. Uh, I just wanted to see if you'd be open to the possibility of uh, considering the idea of having uh, me interviewed on your show to share some insights and I new ideas for your audience that could help them tremendously in, in getting more control of their time. Uh, I've, I've been interviewed in other podcasts as well. Uh, before, here are a couple of links to my other interviews. If you find that these are helpful and would be interesting to your audience, please drop me a note back and we can see if we can arrange a conversation. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, you're such a guru, Ari. <laughs> That's better than chat GBT, isn't it? What says R E G B T? I just came out. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I mean, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. I mean, that's what I wanted to say. But right. having those words, <clears throat> you know, and crafting in an email where, you know, because they get emails all the time, I'm sure. They always get pitched. And the the secret to all of this is you can't change the the medium you're going through. You can't change the email or whatever, you, but you can change your languaging. And the languaging is the only thing you have left in your control to change. Mm. If you're not mm. changing your languaging, you're doing the same thing everyone else is doing, you are going to hit a wall with that because the world's become commoditized. People are tired yeah. of being approached. And unless your approach is different, you'll always be stuck, stuck playing the numbers game. So thank you so much, Sam. Yeah, no, great answer, Ari. Thank you. I'm going to get that word for word and I'm going to use it. Thank you. Let us know how many responses you get next time. Okay, okay thank you.